la la la. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hey. And, and a, a happy tree and to you. And a happy tree to, to you. you. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> we don't have our mics now. Yeah. Our yeah. Cat, the cat stole the, 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 the cat pissed all the over cat the mics and the mics, uh, stole the mic stands. Stole the mic stands. And somehow is. Locked me out of my own apartment. Yeah. And, the, uh, and also the cat was like, okay. Took my girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and on top of that, reserved our um, uh, recording studio the whole day yes, that we were planning the whole to day. <laughs> yeah. Throwing a cat party up there. Yeah. God, but what, a about, what a bunch of pussies. <laughs> but no, hey, welcome to the Man of Doozy podcast, everybody. Yes, welcome. You know, you're probably thinking, what the hell are they talking about and what does that mean? Right. And these guys will just fucking record anywhere, too. What? We'll record anywhere. This is like the... Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you I was like, where you were? I'm like, wait, where are we? No, I... Anywhere, under uh, any uh, circumstance. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the word doozy mm. means uh, something that is extraordinary or outstanding of its kind. And obviously, <laughs> we have no mic stand, <laughs> yeah. so we are not that. No. This is the only way we could do it. But we want to be. That's right. We want it. Even though the, there are lots of powers that are trying to, uh, uh, that are against the, us. The powers that, that the, be, the powers which that is be. The, the... The powers that pee. The, po- <laughs> the pussy power. Mics. Yeah. The pussy cat power. That's How right. dare you think it? You know... This is the podcast oh. that we are going to give you all the tools that you need to become successful in life. Like, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I do a pod? How are we a traveling podcast band? Right. Where to buy the cheapest urine remover? You know? Yeah, yeah. Because we're we're that's where the whole, the budget's. Yeah, going. you know what? I, I, I'm I'm so sorry. I have to uh, interrupt this <laughs> intro because it's it's like. Somehow, the, both of these mics were peed on. Yes. And stop before we were recording. <laughs> He's like, oh, it smells like peppermint. He's like, smell this. I'm like, yeah. that's aged OJ piss. That's your, yeah. your cat's aged piss. Apparently, yeah. your, your cat should be making candy canes yeah, or something. Does, yeah. <laughs> it's, at, at this point, I don't. Uh, it, it, I don't smell it anymore. It smells like peppermint to me. That's 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 what happens. I think you need to see a doctor. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, but that's not what this episode's about. No, it's not. You know. And if you can't tell, the, best, the best part, part about, about this the podcast, podcast. Is we're going to learn how to be successful ourselves, but we are also teaching you how to be successful. And finally, we got there, but it makes sense to me. I'm Alex Christmas Tree Stop, and I'm Kirk Hide the Pickle Ornament Gaz. Had the what? Pickle ornament? You, you have that? Um, no. You don't have a pickle ornament? You ever no. grow up with a pickle ornament? You put a pickle on the tree? Yeah, it's like a pickle ornament and like... Like fresh out of the jar? High. No, dripping. god damn it. It's an ornament. And it's like, I don't know. From I'll look it up. an actual pickle? Not from an actual pickle. These are like the thumb pin cookies, right? Yeah. They, yeah. Okay. It's, it's like, why did you grab a pickle out of a jar? Pickle ornaments? Put some string and then hold yeah, it on. The- just running out of space on the tree. They were like, fuck, wait, 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 what do we got in the fridge? <laughs> we need, we need we got, something right there. We got pickles. You got pickles? Yeah. <laughs> why does this living room smell like pickles? <laughs> It's disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about. It smells like peppermint cat piss. To That's me. right. It smells like peppermint in here. <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about well, besides cat piss and pickles? You, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. No, guys. You know, today we thought for uh, this week's Christmas episode, you know, branching out <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, Thanks uh, for watching, everybody. <laughs> See you guys. We are going to learn how to Christmas tree. Oh. And we're not going to like put on a Christmas tree outfit and just stand there and yes. wait for families to put things on our... No, we're, we're, we're gonna... talking psychologically how to be a Christmas tree. <laughs> how do you identify as a Christmas tree? Correct. No. Um, you know, it's a, it's a popular um, time of the year. The people are buying everyone's, Christmas it's, trees. Yeah, it's Christmas. Everyone's got a Christmas tree. Dude, in the tree. city, uh, they're, they're, they're all over like the sidewalks and stuff. Yeah. Are you talking about after Christmas? Well, no. Because after Christmas, it looks, it's just like. It's just it's graveyards. Just it's a gra- yeah. yeah just a Christmas tree graveyard in the middle of the streets. Yeah. Very depressing. But we're not focusing on that. We're focusing pickles on. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's dried pickles. Yeah. Let me ask you. Yeah. Have you ever had a Christmas tree? I have. The interesting thing, though, is that 
over the past, I think, decade, something that's become really, really popular is... Do you remember your first Christmas tree? Let me speak. <laughs> Interrupted! Punch him, Jose! <laughs> pinch, <laughs> punch, pinch him, pinch him. Do a little pinch, pinch yeah. him, and we then have, punch him. We have this him. thing every time I interrupt uh, Kirk. Uh, the editor, Jose, keeps it interrupted. Yeah, but this time, do it on him. Interrupted. What I was going to say, something that's become popular, is, like, some people have fake trees. And you, like, put them in the different mm. holes. But, yeah. like, I think there was a portion that, of time that uh, we went out and, like, bought Christmas trees. Yes. It's a huge thing. It's a big event. It's a lot of work, too. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and apparently it's a lot of care. And so I think a lot of people over the past like decade or so are like, I, I don't, it's like plants. Yeah. Plants take so much work to, to, to keep alive, let alone if they're a fucking 15 foot. Yeah. Spiky little thing, and they're like, <laughs> some "Could plants, you please yeah. give me water?" Some plants take a lot of work. You have to. Yeah. You have to I guess there are some plants I found out today that you have to wipe their leaves down. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, it's weird. You know, when I, how, when I grew how up... How do you know that? Like, someone had to yeah, right? find that out. They're like, I'm doing... I'm, I'm jerking this tree off. I'm doing everything. <laughs> and it's just not growing. And it's like, well, have you wiped the leaves? Oh. Yeah, I think one of the things that helped me grow as a baby Christmas tree was mm. uh, my mom wiping my leaves. <laughs> <laughs> After every time mm. dew was coming out. Yeah, leave out the jerking off part joke that I made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God, I made this so awkward, awkward. 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 This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you? I mean, you have a do you have a split household or did you just like were you like, "Oh, <laughs> Christmas looks fun. People get extra presents." Cuz you're also do, are you you're yeah, Jewish Jew but also Jewish and the other one that has the Christmas tree, whatever. I don't know if it's Catholic or Christian or whatever the fuck I am. But. Yeah. You're it's, it's one of the, but I, I am a Jew. I had a bar mitzvah, you know? So and, you're a Jew uh, for Jesus? I'm a Jew for Jesus. I'm actually a German Jew. So, a German Jew? What yes. does that mean, though? Uh, that means that I'm German and Jewish. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we, I grew up, I celebrated both uh, holidays. God, that's a lot of presents. Yeah. I got a present uh, every night for Hanukkah. And then uh, I got presents under the Christmas tree. It was great. A lot of presents. God, and Although the we stockings. Stopped, we stopped doing presents uh, on Hanukkah because um, one of the presents uh, on Hanukkah was a trampoline for, like, our backyard. It was a big one. And uh, I ended up uh, doing, like, a flip on it. And, oh, and, no. And snapped my, uh, uh, like, the back of, like, the, the lower part of my spine. I had two bulging discs. And... Uh, uh, it would, it, I'd have these like uh, these these like little attacks where like my entire body would just go like pins, Holy and, pins and needles, and I had to have like pe people like uh, grab my arms and legs and like pull like literally pull my spine apart on the ground, and I had to lay there to like just have feeling in my body again. So we got rid of the trampoline. Yeah, <laughs> not the biggest fan of trampolines, I no, guess. No, but Christmas trees. We always had a real. Christmas we always had a real tree. Christmas yeah. tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I enjoyed it from the wheelchair when I was, you You're know. You're like, oh, good yeah. star. That's uh, a really great star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, fuck. You know what? I would we, go out and we would, we would actually, sometimes uh, in our backyard we had Christmas trees, like little pine trees and stuff, and we would chop those down and bring them in. That's right. Yeah. Because you know? some people would so like. So messy. Well, some people will drive like yeah. out of state or, or you know, to, to, to get these, you know, they have. Oh, what Christmas tree farms? I don't even freaking know what well, it yeah, is. A garden those, out in those parts of the world. Yeah, you, and you're in, you're in like the desert and stuff. You don't have Christmas trees. You gotta get them like shipped in. How does that work? Yeah, how did the people in in the desert get their Christmas trees? Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna find out we by the know. end of this episode. So, so yeah. So what? These are the top. Five. These are the top five tips. A little bit more more um, uh, condensed uh, than usual, but. Super, super helpful, apparently. Um, uh, yeah, we have the top five tips. Because you're all going to have Christmas trees. And we're going to teach you how to take care of one? Uh, I, I guess <laughs> I guess so. It's like, what is this? How long do Christmas trees last? Follow, uh, follow these expert tips to keep it fresh for longer. Uh, apparently, there's a woman by the name... Leaves. 
of uh, Samantha Jones, a gardening expert. Very who's credible, given these credible very, source. Very credible, credible very source. Credible. So let's jump into it. Very you ready? Credible. I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. Uh, um, hey, we also have a live studio audience. That's uh, right. This, our, our girlfriends. Our, are here. Yes, they yeah. are. This they've been are. they've been very very supportive. Yes, uh, very very well, supportive. Very supportive. Um, as we so set far. up, right. yeah. Um, they they've wiped our leaves. Oh, absolutely. You know, they they've helped us out. So. Yeah, they really have. They you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They've decorated us. They decorated with so many compliments. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah. And yeah. anyway, let's let's so. uh, jump into it, guys. This is the top five tip on how to Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> how to Christmas tree? How to yeah. Christmas tree? Um, choose a healthy Christmas tree. You're not gonna like go to the dog pound, right? No. And there's <laughs> there's gotta be like a pound for you know, Christmas trees. It's just like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or or I mean, let's just be honest. Used to Christmas trees. It's right? kind of like. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Or or you know, when you're single, some apps work better than others. You know. Yeah. So, you know some. Uh, like a Tinder for Christmas trees. Tinder for Christmas. A yeah. hinge for Christmas trees. Timber. Timber, Timber is the is the the direct to consumer yeah. dating app for yeah. Christmas trees. To pick out your own Christmas tree. It's going down. Yeah, I'm yelling <laughs> Timber. Oh, oh my God, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's we a could good make one. millions on that. Yeah. Anyways, I just read the tip. There's more to read. Mm. So choose a healthy tree. A, a tree from the app Tin- Tinder. Yeah. First, note that if you prefer to buy your tree from a garden store or roadside lot, it likely came from out of state and it and has been exposed to drying winds in transit. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Drying winds. If you're looking to start with the freshest possible tree, opt for one from your local Christmas tree farm. Either way, it's essential to know how to choose the best Christmas tree. Keep these tips in mind as you shop. Look for a healthy green Mm -hmm. tree with the least amount of brown needles. Brown Mm -hmm. needles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Select a tree displayed in a shady location. So maybe we do go to the dog pound. Uh, Avoid picking from a sunny area. Run a few branches through your hands. The needles should feel pliable and not fall off. Raise the tree a few inches, Mm. then drop the trunk into the ground. Mm. Very few green needles should fall off, but it's fine if the tree loses a few brown ones. Yeah. Yeah. Really get to know your tree. Really, yeah. (laughs) Take, you know... (laughs) Take your take your tree you know, up to a, a yeah. night on the town. Make sure it's healthy, though. You know, look up yeah. its medical history. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean. Exactly. Go through its medical records. But get you know? get get a swab you, from you their don't want a tree that has like a uh, you know drug abuse history. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and, right. and you know, I I would recommend even go as far to like take a swab from the dew uh, coming out of the branch and set it into. Uh, the ancestry for trees. Yeah, put it in a spoon yeah. and light it up. See yeah, what happens. light it up. Yeah. Because it's a Christmas tree? Yeah. Light it up? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, healthy. Uh, you know, these are Zing. things <laughs> These are things that I've actually, I don't even know. You know what? There are Christmas trees, though. When you go through the lot, you'll look and you'll be like, ooh, no one's going to buy that one. No one's going to buy that one. No one's going to buy that yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Reading all these tips, it makes me think about, you know, you know all those Disney Pixar movies? They're, they're branching out <laughs> uh, to, like, all oh, the... <laughs> You did it once. I did, and I didn't even mean You did it once, and the second time, you know. No, you know how, like, Up was like, oh, my gosh, old people have feelings, too. Right. Or um, Coco was like, Mexican people have feelings. Or or Luca, Italian people. I can't wait for them to do a Disney Pixar movie about Christmas trees in the lot. that's going to happen? No. Hey, it's Jose from the editing room. I just wanted to let everybody know that there actually is a Christmas tree movie where an animated Christmas tree tries to make it in New York. Uh, Here's the trailer. This holiday season. One more stop and then... Empire City! Join Albert in a first ever Nickelodeon original Christmas movie as he dares to go where no pint-sized Douglas fir has gone before. Whoa! So this is outside? Yeah, brutal, ugly, and cold. Okay. All right. 
So buy a healthy, <laughs> buy a healthy Christmas tree, okay? You know, don't buy a burnt one. You know, it's pretty obvious. Buy a, buy a, a brown buy a healthy yeah. Christmas tree. Don't it's buy just, a brown one. Yeah, that's a, really. That's on his way out. I didn't know that it would be so extensive that you re- you gotta feel up this tree, basically. Yeah. I don't have any anything else to say. Perfect. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Just buy a good tree. Don't buy a stupid looking tree. It seems like it's pretty self explanatory. It seems yeah. like a visual thing. Well, that's the podcast. That's every episode. It's just everything's self explanatory. <laughs> We're just here to just waste your time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and make horrible jokes. <clears throat> Number four, everybody. Trim the trunk and then trim it again. Okay. Okay. When you purchase a Christmas tree, double check that the seller makes a fresh cut straight across the base of the trunk to aid water absorption. Okay. You get it. Okay. This gets rid of any dried over resin that might block the tree from absorbing water. When you get home, if you're not putting your tree up the right way, place it in a bucket of water. Note that you should always store real trees in an unheated garage or area that's protected from wind and freezing temperatures. When you're ready to bring it inside, make another one inch cut off the bottom of the trunk. Once inside, place it in a sturdy stand that holds at least one gallon of water. Every single time you are in its presence, cut it. Cut it. Put in some water. Yeah. Wait, why? Why? No, like, why do you have to cut it so frequently? I think it's like, uh, it's like flowers, right? Don't you have to cut flowers before you put them in the... In the oh, right. the, the ladies say yes. So this is like a, just a big... A humongous a flower, flower that uh, is yeah. spiky and can poke you. Oh. You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut the... <laughs> Cut it Jose, out. cut this out. Cut this out. <laughs> cut this out. Jose, cut this whole fucking thing You know, the whole, the whole entire time that, that, that we're doing this, I'm like, listen, we agreed upon it, but I'm, I'm like, is this one of those episodes? Is this a horror episode of, like, how to 4th of July? Is I didn't this know you need to cut it. My, uh, you know what? The, my Christmas tree would have died. If you didn't cut it? If I didn't. If I, just in general, I wouldn't know what to fucking do with that. Bring it home. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd set it up and then it would just, that would be it. Yeah, you'd put it, you know, die. I'd probably like put it in a corner and I would have been like, wait, you have to put water under it? Yeah. You have to put it in water? You have to, I have to it cut in, it? There's like little things that you can get and that you can like screw oh, you them sc- in. Yeah. You can screw them in so they stay up and they don't fall over. And then you put water in the base and then you just, you put a little dress on it. So like the pine needles. That's right. Right? The dress. Yeah, you got to treat your tree like a woman. Like a, like a, okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> trim the trunk and then trim it again. So you just cut yeah. it down until. Pretty soon your tree's going to be <laughs> freaking two feet tall. Yeah. Just the top there. Yeah. Just the top. Just the top. Just the top. Just, just trimming it down. Just breaking it down till there's nothing left, right? You have to treat it like a woman, like you said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just break them down until they submit to you whatever you want. Oh, wow. All right. Well, hey, we, <laughs> we got an ad break before the next one. You ready? We'll see you after the ad break. Which we're about to do right now. In a few seconds. Hey, Kirk, you know what sucks? What sucks? This episode. I know. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Stop. You know what doesn't suck, what? though? Botticelli Foods. Oh, that makes sense to me. Yeah. You know, I'm tired of us, Do you know, brainstorming like <laughs> ideas yeah. and trying to have them be relatable for the time. And then they just end up being... <laughs> oh, um, yeah, but Chelly's isn't dumb though. No, it ain't. Mm-hmm. But Chelly's is family owned. That's right. Okay, and it's operated with four generations of the food industry. They bring an experience to your table with a taste that transports you to the heart of Italy. Do they have Christmas trees in Italy? Do they have? Okay, let me check. While Kirk's looking this up, I just want to say that this Pixar Christmas tree movie that he randomly brought up is probably not gonna. I, I just feel like it would, it would be good. Would they talk? 
absolutely. Because uh, some of them are all, who all would mangled. Be, who, who would be the voice of the Christmas tree? Oh, God. I don't know. Christmas tree? Oh, I don't know. Kevin Hart, probably. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Yeah. The Rock the is Rock, the biggest yeah. Christmas yeah, yeah. tree. Yeah, that's it. They're in every movie. There's no other. Yeah, The Rock, and, the, the Rock and, and Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. It's, a, it's a, a buddy comedy Christmas tree. Yeah. Guys, if you go to Botticelli Foods. Wait, are there Christmas trees in Italy? It said they're like relatively new to Christmas. I don't even freaking know. Like, it, oh. I, I guess there are. Do Italy use Christmas trees? Even there's. Do Italy <laughs> use <laughs> Christmas <laughs> tree? Do Italy use Christmas tree? A whiz, but Christmas. The Christmas tree. tree of the Vatican, which is usually one of the most beautiful in Italia. I guess so. People decorate. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, I'm whatever. sure people at the Vatican celebrate Christmas, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does it rival the Rockefeller? Wow. All right. Let's keep going. Guys, if you go to BotticelliFoods.com and use the promo code DOOZY at checkout, you can get 10% off all Botticelli Foods products. We're talking pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're talking Mm -hmm. sauce, Mm -hmm. olive oil, balsamics, Mm -hmm. and many more flavorful products. Botticelli Foods are extraordinary and outstanding. (laughs) Just like any other episode the men of Doozy do. The next one. Correct. (laughs) Correct. All right. And now, back to the pain and torture. Hey. Hey. You know what I think it is? I think what is it's it? holding the mics. I think, I you think, think so? I think it's tiring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's why I'm like leaning on yeah. to the, I don't know. You know, I think if, uh, I, I feel we only have three more tips to go. Mm-hmm. And I feel, I feel confident that we'll learn something. <sighs> Okay, so guys, the top three tip is <laughs> no. He's got nothing. <sighs> Make sure your Christmas tree always has enough water. Yeah, I love when yep. Kirk starts a sentence and he has no idea where it's going, and then you just give up in the end. Yeah, guys, don't forget to regularly give your Christmas tree water. Too little can cause resin to form. What is even? Which means the tree won't absorb water and it will dry out quickly. Follow this rule of thumb. For every inch of the trunk's diameter. Are you measuring this? I'm not listening to you. Fill the stand with one (laughs) quart of water. Even though you've heard of people talk about adding things like bleach, corn syrup, aspirin, and sugar to water... Tree preservatives and additives are probably unnecessary. What are these people doing to their trees? Fucking uh, most bleach, experts. Bleach, corn syrup, bleach, aspirin, corn syrup, sugar, <laughs> sugar, salt, pepper, cocaine, cocaine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eggnog. Sprinkle some Adderall in there, bit, maybe yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> What are they doing? Yeah. Most experts agree that plenty of clean water is all you need to keep a tree fresh. You think? Uh, just remember. A little aspirin helps. A little, so. yeah. a little aspirin. Yeah, a little Adderall. Yeah. To keep it awake. Yeah, exactly. Um, that tree's got a headache. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Just remember to check the water level daily. It should yeah. always cover the cut end of the trunk. The, the, the trunk that you have to continue to cut. Yeah. God, refill yeah. is any, needed. Any kind of like over the counter drugs are perfect to give to your Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing, you know, no, no yeah. <laughs> Always have some some Claritin or, or Sudafed yeah. to really, yeah. Dayquil um, helps. You know? Dayquil helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At night, give mm-hmm. it a pop Flintstone a few. Flintstone gummies, maybe. Flintstone yeah. gummies, that's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. You know, if it's, if it's looking to just have a really nice, healthy, relaxing night, give it yeah. a little CBD. A little CBD. Yeah. 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 But just guys, really, really fuck your tree up. Just really fuck yeah. your tree up. A lot of cold medicine. Yeah. 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 Oxycontin. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you lower, but if you lower the temperature in the room, it can help slow down the drying process and therefore result in your tree requiring a bit less water, according to the National Christmas Tree Association. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. The Sorry. National Christmas Tree Association. Yeah. What do you think those meetings are like? (laughs) Welcome to the National Christmas Tree Association instructional video on how to tie your Christmas tree to your car. And a couple of quick tips for taking care of your tree. 
Pre-cut trees should always have one inch cut off the bottom. When you get home, place your trees in water. Never put your trees close to heat sources in your house. For more information about tree care, visit realchristmastrees.org and have a wonderful Christmas. Just like a huge board meeting with just like high profile people. Yeah. And just like, guys, we need to put out a memo. No more aspirin <laughs> for these trees. They have to be a certain temperature in the room. These trees are like me when I'm hungover. I need a certain temperature. I need, I need bleach. <laughs> the National Christmas Tree Association. Can anyone, can we join that, please? <laughs> join the yeah, National look that Christmas Tree? How do you join the National? Because I've got some things to say. You know what I mean? You know what we should have done to make this episode a trillion times better? What? We should have, we should have contacted someone from the... Um, the National Christmas, National Tree, Christmas Association. Tree Association and been like uh, rules and regulations. So it says here the National Christmas Tree Association is a professional organization in the United States of over 5,100 Christmas tree professionals. <laughs> the group focuses its work in three areas promotion and research. Federal representation, yeah. which includes congressional lobbying and professional education. How do you educate <laughs> Christmas tree school? <laughs> Can we go to that's the vlog. Can we go to Christmas tree school? <laughs> Please. Please. The Pixar movie. The Pixar Please. movie with Christmas The Rock and school. Kevin Hart. They grew up in a Christmas tree school. Fuck. The association was founded in 1955. The teacher's just a Christmas tree. What? The teacher's a Christmas tree <laughs> with glasses. <laughs> Christmas tree professional. <laughs> but like how? How, what, yeah, what how do you get certified like that? Okay, one second. Don't run your fingers through the, the needles like that. Like this, right? Okay. What's the Christmas temperature in here? Tree. Professionals. <laughs> yeah, wanna, sir. It's, what are the qualifications, <laughs> sir? It's too warm in here. We're gonna need to. <laughs> we're yeah. gonna need to take you down to the Christmas tree jail. Wow. Oh my God. How did professionals decorate real Christmas? You what? know, there, there's also got to be people from uh, the the National Christmas Tree Association who like they go to each house every year. And like, it's, like they're like inspectors, it's right? Like the IRS. Everyone, yeah, like the, yeah, they come to, the, to your house and they're just like, "Hey, uh, we're here to check up on your Christmas tree." And you're like, "Oh, wh oh what? excuse my, me." My family and I are just having dinner. It's like, "Oh yeah, no, it's okay. We're just gonna go check oh, it yeah, in." Yeah, yeah. They go in and they got measuring tapes. They got for they like testing like the water and shit like that. <laughs> they put a Little grade. Dials. They put a grade outside your uh, like a like a health uh, yeah like the health inspectors and shit. <laughs> yeah. They have tree. caution tape around. We're gonna have to. We're gonna <laughs> living have to, room. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, take this Christmas tree from you right yeah sir you signed a uh, a liability waiver that yeah. you would treat this christmas yeah. tree we've got a tr <laughs> they come in they're like we've been they, they bring up a christmas tree from some christmas tree farm and they're like we've been looking for that christmas tree for 30 years <laughs> where did he's you get killed this? more people you guys are lucky we got here just in time <laughs> they put the they put cuffs on the, the christmas tree bring it out <laughs> Throw it in the back of the thing. Jose, Every branch. Jose can, Jose, can you animate that? Can you animate uh, Christmas tree getting uh, dragged out of the house? And yeah, a Christmas tree being maybe uh, like a arrested. Want, maybe like a wanted poster for a Christmas tree, <laughs> right? Just some murderous Christmas tree. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Christmas tree association. Okay. Yep. Well, now we're in the top two tips. Thank wow. God. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, everybody. You excited for your Christmas tree, right? I'm, I, I just hope it's not I'm, a murderer. I'm going to join the National Christmas Tree Association. <laughs> you know there's only 1,800 members. Professionals. Yeah. There's probably a Christmas tree college. There's someone out there just has been dying to get in there his whole life, and he keeps missing. Yeah. He just can't get the test, you know, right? Yeah. He can't. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just doesn't. He keeps. He can't do it. He studies all year, yeah. like the SAT or the ACT, yeah. and he just that's, that's That's the movie. This guy is trying to get into the Christmas Tree Association, and he can't. So he rigs the test. And he cheats. Yeah. 
But little does he know, The Rock and Kevin Hart are murderous Christmas, Christmas tree. Trees. Like, yes. uh, yeah. Perfect. Number two, okay. everybody. Keep the Christmas tree away from heat sources. Okay? <laughs> sure, there's nothing... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> don't burn I mean? it down. Yeah, don't put it right in front of the fireplace. No, you know? don't do that. Yeah, uh, sure. There's nothing more lovely than a beautiful decorated Christmas tree besides <laughs> a, a roaring fireplace. See, surely not. Right, right. <laughs> but along with sunlight, radiators, air ducts, and stoves, a regularly used fireplace could contribute to your tree dying out at a much quicker pace, drying out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my Dying. God! So much talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so much talk about. Honey, the Christmas trees die. <laughs> Who you, do you call when your Christmas tree is on? You don't call nine one one. The National Christmas Tree Association. The Christmas tree's on fire. Well, let me direct your call. National Christmas Tree. <laughs> what are those? Three one one. Do they have a phone number? Can we call them? <laughs> three one. Three one one. Hi, yes, this is the operator. How can, can I, prank, how can I help can you? Prank call them. Oh, you want me to find a? Let me find a uh, a number. Is your Christmas trees, is your Christmas tree running? Well, you better go catch it. <laughs> oh. Then, oh, okay. Oh. Contact. Every no. year, you guys prank us. Here it is. You want to do it? Yes. It's fucking. <laughs> Eight zero zero uh-huh. nine five. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Christmas Tree Association. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Thank you for calling the National Christmas Tree Association. To reach our seasonal voice of the industry, Doug Hundley, please dial 704. Doug. Also, for any media inquiries. To reach Tim O'Connor, our executive director, dial 703. <sighs> and for any membership questions, dial 701. Membership. And O'Connor. 703? No, no, 701? Are we about to be members of the Christmas Tree Association? You have reached Ann O'Connor, no. Director of Programs and Membership. No, it was 703. National Christmas Tree Association. Please leave a message and I will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. <clears throat> Hi, uh, this is Alec and, uh, Alex and... I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. This is... Uh, Alex and Kirk with uh, the Minute Doozy Podcast. We would like to become members of the National Christmas Tree Association. Um, just seeing what we got to do, you know, what 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 qualifications uh, we we need to do. So uh, just just g- uh, give me a call back um, so that we can become members here. Okay, our episode's doing really bad right now, and we need you. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> How many members are there? 1,800. Oh. Do we have to pay, like, annually? I don't know, dude. This is great. Do you two want to become members? (laughs) It's like $10,000 a year or something like that. I don't even... uh, National Christmas... uh, Oh, my God. She's going to look us up. Whatever. Yeah, don't burn your freaking Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, don't okay? burn your Christmas don't tree. Don't burn your Christmas tree. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, look, if if your home is prone to dryness, okay, like probably Kirk's with all the horrible jokes, you know, try using a humidifier to add moisture to the room. You know what I mean? The Good Housekeeping Institute recommend the Good Housekeeping Institute. Look up, look them up right now. <laughs> we're about to, we're about to join. We're so many. Good Housekeeping Institute, okay? They recommend the Vornado EVAP40 humidifier. The Vornado (laughs) Vornado EVAP40 humidifier 3000 for large areas like the living room. It performed well in our tests and can add enough moisture to the air to keep your tree fresh longer. Mm. Good Housekeeping Institute. Good Housekeeping Institute. Ready? Favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to. Good Housekeeping. Good uh, Housekeeping. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't know if it's... I, I can't find it. I, I'm not getting one. It's okay. just good housekeeping ad sales. Yeah. 
Are you ready to just wrap this up with number one? Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. My tree, I have so many dead Christmas trees. I need to wrap my it in. My tree yeah. needs aspirin right, yeah. now, right now. Like yeah. bad. Uh, yeah. Maybe some Tums. Some Tums? Some Tums. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, guys. We're now at the top. Number one top tip on how to Christmas tree. Take your tree down before it dries out. If you wait too long, you'll have more dead pine needles to deal with. The easiest way to clean up fallen needles is by using your vacuum's hose. Wait, what? The Vornado EVAP 400 <laughs> humidifier. Yeah. <laughs> Skip the fancy attachments and just use the end of the hose to draw needles directly into the bag or canister using the Vornado EVAP 40 humidifier. When you're officially done with your tree, you have a couple options. You can start a new compost pile with it, recycle it, or turn it into mulch yourself. Wow. You can also ask your town about what disposal options it offers. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly solution, dude, New York's like, Meh, just like yeah. graveyards when all over When you're done with your Christmas tree, take it out behind the shed and shoot it. <laughs> like Lassie. Like Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Set it on fire out back. You, 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 I, at this point, you're probably taking care of it yeah. more than you would Lassie. Yeah, don't tell the <sighs> National uh, Christmas, Christmas Tree, Tree Association, Association. You, uh, that we're don't giving you this. Don't tell them what you do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Can't wait for her to call you back, yeah. by the Hold way. Hold it hostage and, and have them give you a membership for free. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, but don't tell. What's your name, Rebecca? I don't, I, I don't know. Just cut out that whole phone call, Jose. Cut out this episode. Leave in just like the good parts. Well, that's we uh, tried. That's how to Christmas tree, everybody. That's yeah, how to take care of your Christmas tree. Yep. I Man, you know it's I lovely. Learned, listen, learned, listen. There's moments learned, like these. Yeah. Yeah, I learned some stuff. If I ever yeah. have a Christmas tree, which, to be completely honest, probably never. Um, uh, but you know, there's moments like these that really humble me as a man of duty. Really put you in the Christmas tree. Really <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it just makes me think, wow. Yeah. You know, when we started this podcast, we were like, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. We can literally do a topic on anything. And when you pick anything, <laughs> you we're find fine. out. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. You no, we're, really, we're, we're continuing to find yeah, out yeah. that sometimes yeah. anything, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. And to those of you who actually enjoyed this one, you know what? Please, Hell yeah. please. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your you you diehard listeners and, yeah. and watchers because we love you. Hopefully, you learned a little something. A little um, something. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at Christmas tree school. Yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah. Guys, please, uh, you know, thanks for watching the Men of Doozy podcast. Please comment what your favorite tip was. <laughs> you know, fuck that. If you... <laughs> You know what? Fuck Comment that. What I, your favorite every, tip was <laughs> every every one of you. We want every single one of you to call the um, uh, National Christmas Tree Association. Get a membership. We gotta and, pump those and numbers And petition up. Yes. for us to become members, please. Yes. Um, give them a call. Give them a call. Yep. We That's need, our call we to need, action. We need members. Um, yeah. Share this with your friends. Or. Do, do you want to jump or in? Don't. And, or don't. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> Buy Botticelli's. That's a must. Buy Botticelli's, guys. That's a that must. That 10% code, D-O-O-Z-Y. -O -O uh, we're on all the podcast platforms. Yeah. You Please. Don't, you don't know what to get your your person for Christmas? Get them Botticelli's. Get them Botticelli's. And nothing a gift like card some... to the Christmas tree school. Exactly. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing better than some, you know. I think there's a dress code at Christmas tree school. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a Christmas they are, tree Well, they're all wearing skirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I could really use some Botticelli foods right now to be transported to Italy. Yeah. I could use episode. some aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know what that's... Aspirin, bleach, sugar. <laughs> just mix it all up and give it to me. Um, hey. And, yeah, guys, if there is anything that you want to learn about and have us teach you while we also learn about it, let us know. But once again, as we said, not just anything. Yeah, not anything. Because <laughs> we're finding out. 
You don't. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not it's not, not everything is is good. Subscribe though. That's good. Subscribe, baby. Smash that subscribe, subscribe, baby. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Boom. Put, uh, uh, Jose put a little like like some Christmas tree lights and stuff around the subscribe button. Smash it. Smash it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give it some aspirin. Give, give it, it some, some aspirin. aspirin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, uh, now. <laughs> Now give it a knife. Now give it a knife. And have police chasing it. Yeah, right? chasing p- police or chasing the... Yeah, yeah. Do all this stuff for it. That's right. You um, know what would be good? It, when we get this green screen, um, it would be good if we're like, okay, now we're in like the board meeting at the at the Christmas tree association. Yeah, yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Just to go to different places while we're talking here. All right, everybody. Anyways, guys. Happy hey, holidays. Happy holidays. Merry, uh, happy Christmas, Hana Quantica. Hopefully this inspires you to get a Christmas tree, but you know, uh, or if, you're like, you know what? I've never. Or at least, Christmas you know, when you're yet. walking by. Um, get a uh, fake Christmas tree. Yeah, you know get a fake. I mean? well, that's, that's totally easier. fine. L- less work, but at least, at, the, at least you can walk by Christmas trees and people who are buying them and be like, oh, they're in for their work. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Christmas tree associations like fake christmas trees <laughs> how dare you yeah is there a fake christmas tree association national foundation <laughs> no fuck this just end it bye guys love you love you <laughs>